how to create a digital catalog in canva hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to create your very own digital catalog in canva so having said that let's just jump into the video now before we begin i just want to give you a few examples of what a digital catalog is i'm pretty sure you already know but just for the sake of this video i'm going to go ahead and show some examples and we're going to try to recreate them and in that way you will also know how to create a catalog as well so here we go these are some examples so you can see a digital catalog will look something like this you know it, it'll be like a magazine where it'll have a bunch of different products and the pricing and the details as well so here you can see like this image right so here is the table of content right here you can see all of your products and then here on the other page it'll have like a about section telling you about the product why it's unique what's it made of you know the process and everything so we could go ahead and create something similar over here in canva as well so let's go ahead and get started now first things first we need to go ahead and sign up if you already have an account you can sign in it totally depends on you but if you don't you can quickly sign up using your google account and it's free so you won't have to worry about it so i already have an account and i'm going to try to log in by clicking on the continue with google button all right so now that we're in we're going to go ahead and create it so we could go ahead and search for it over here you can see right here we have they have a bunch of different templates so we're going to search for uh, a magazine so that you know we can have like a flip book effect as well just like the ones that we just saw in the google images so let's go ahead and search for magazine there we go magazine over here let's see what we get and down below we're gonna have a bunch of different styles so yeah here we go so these could be good we could use some of them you know but these are like covers they're like just single covers maybe we could go ahead and click on style and here we have nope let me go ahead and search for a flip book flip book template i think that would be much better yeah something like this one yeah so we could even go with this one and this one so actually this one would pretty good you're not gonna lie even though that's not yeah something like this one this is like a hard cover so not that one but we could create something similar these are like for children but this one right here right oh that's an all about me how to build how to plant like something like this one even though this is a, a bit uh, this is not free but still it might work but uh, let's go ahead and try to find another one i'm thinking but if we can't find it i'll just actually we'll just go with a you know a blank which looks create over here we'll just go with a blank sheet or something like that for you we'll go with yeah search for magazine and it'll pop up right here we'll just create a uh, blank canvas and we're gonna go ahead and edit our own design and create something all right so here we go so now what i'll do is i'll go ahead and add like a title over here and i'm trying to see an example i really like this one but i think we'll go with something else like i'm trying to find a good like a title or basically like this text over here like the fonts I'm trying to find something similar so for example over here i think it was over here like this one i, I really like this style really good so but they're not free i actually like this one so we're going to click over here and since it opened up over here i'll keep this text but i'll get rid of everything else because we don't need that since we are going to be creating our own so we'll just get rid of that like that there we go so we'll only keep the text this could be your own text right so it could be let's say you're selling shoes all right this could be your title here you can add the name of the company over here and you could go with that one so uh, i'll just go with pretty shoes and then down below we'll go with pretty shoot but i don't like this font so i'll maybe come over here and we'll search for different ones like this one uh, it's a bit too much something a little less what about this one no all right so i found this one over here i'll be using that one i'll get rid of this one since i wanted to change the font fonts i really like this font right here it's called the yellow tail so what i'll do is we'll separate them they're all grouped up together we'll ungroup them right here and this will be like over here at the top and this will be the main option right like this will be pretty like that pretty shoes like so and we'll keep them too close but not too close like that and maybe we'll increase the size like so and then we'll just center align it like that that looks good there we go now that it's center aligned it's perfect and we'll now just move it right here center align this one as well why is it let me go ahead and make it a little bit smaller like that there we go now that it's that center aligned and put it right there maybe a little bit there we go pretty huge so that's good that looks great now 
we're gonna go ahead and add like uh images so i think this looks good also i'll copy this one this is like uh league spartan yeah that's the one so what we'll do is we'll copy it and we'll paste it a couple of times well not a couple of times just one time would be good and we'll keep this small and we'll go ahead and group these up together by right clicking and then just simply clicking on the group now oh, that's one group right there yeah should not have moved it accidentally moved it now we'll just put it back there maybe we'll move this up a little bit like so all right okay so this could be our title or whatever i'll just put this at the bottom we'll just go with our own trademarks over here and stuff like that right so here let's go ahead and come over here onto the left hand side we'll click on elements and here we're going to click on gallery or grid right we'll click search for grid and here we go so we got a bunch of different options and you can choose this frame right here i'll go with this one and we'll close this up and like copy it and paste it and create another one right like so this could be our main grid it's a little bit bigger let me go ahead and search for something else i wanted to search for something smaller like this one like this would be nice but a, a one by two would be nice as well and like this one but on the vertical side like this one but separate you know like this but anyway i think this is this could also work we'll create create two of them right so like and i think that's like the equal amount of distance between them yeah like that since they're both duplicate of each other i don't have to worry about the size and then here we'll create the shoes and another one like so i think this is okay and we'll create another one let me just make sure that this is center okay the distance is great but is it center aligned with it i think it is i think there we go so now we'll just copy it Actually, we'll make this a group just in case. We And then we'll copy it and paste it. And now we'll just put it right under here like so. This looks good. Now in this image, we ungroup them, right? I'll just ungroup all of them. Now here in this image, we can add our product images. And I already have a few images. So what I'll do is come over here onto the left hand side and click on upload and upload the files. And now once it's uploaded, we can just simply select the images. So if I double click over here, right? or okay not double click there we go it opens up over here and we can just simply drag and drop it over here same thing with this one if i want the image over here there we go and for this add that and finally this one so if we want to adjust them we can double click them and then adjust it but i think this and this one as well for this one i'll have to a little bit like that because the image is a little bit different although it does not look good at all maybe i should change these images but you guys understand what i'm talking about right then over here in this title the title is a little bit bigger so we can go ahead and make it smaller but you can just type in uh, black shoes or heels medium heels large heels whatever you want to call them you can add over here uh, i'll go with heels it's a little bit bigger so what i'll do is um we'll make the smaller the title and also yeah like that and we'll also put we'll say this is 40 dollars like that and make it a little bit longer so that you know what it pops up a little bit and maybe make there we go like that and then we can just simply center align it there we go so now what i'll do is i'll delete them actually i should have done this beforehand and copy paste them three times and once more for this one and then we can just simply adjust them how we want like that there we go and then this little space that you see over here you can add your own extra like this one like we already know right so we'll just go with copy this paste it as well and what i'll do is instead of class of 2021 you can add like a simple talking point about the shoes like this one and just put it like that it's a little bit small make it a little bit smaller of course but you know it is what it is like so that way it might not look as you know empty but you can go ahead and fill it out later but yeah generally speaking this is it and then you can go ahead and create multiple different pages a cover and stuff like that and boom you're good to go you can even add like a background of it i, I didn't add anything it's just a blank but you can add like a color or a different texture whatever you want to do but yeah that's it after that you're good to go so that's how you do it that's how you create a product catalog on canva so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye